to another video. Hope you are doing well. Thank you so much, guys, for coming back. Thank you so much for your support and love. My name is Cynthia. If you're watching me for the first time, you're welcome to the family. And for my returning subscribers, you guys are also welcome. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done that. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching us how to make this kimono dress with a large keyhole. This is what we're going to be making. I actually have a kimono tutorial in my channel. The one in my channel is a kimono jacket. Why this one is a, a kimono dress. So for this uh, tutorial, I'll be making use of three and a half yards of chiffon fabric and a black uh, crepe fabric. So this uh, black fabric will be for the color. So let's get started. We will go ahead and uh, fold our fabric. I will be folding the fabric into four. First I will fold the fabric into two, then fold it again. The fabric is folded this way into two. I will fold it again. So my fabric is folded into four. The length of my dress is 61 inches. I'll be adding one inch for sewing allowance. Making it 62 inches. So I'll go ahead and place the measurement. This is a kimono dress. I'll be cutting the shoulder and the sleeve together. So folded into four, I have 29 and a half inches here. I folded it into four, I'll be cutting out the front and the back together. The front is 59 inches and the back is 59 inches. So I'll be making use of this whole part here. Normally half of the shoulder measurement is uh, eight inches. The shoulder is 16 inches divided by two is eight inches. So this is eight inches. So I added about um, 21 inches for the sleeve. So we'll go ahead and place the neckline. I'll be taking three inches for the wideness of the neck. I will mark one and a half inches for the back dead. Then mark eight inches for the front dead. I will be making the front like a V neckline. So I'll go ahead and connect it. This is the back neckline. And this is the front neckline. So I'll be taking the armhole measurement. I'll be marking 12 inches for the armhole. I want it a little bit free. That's the chest line. From shoulder to waist is 17 and a half inches. From shoulder to hip is 24 and a half inches. So I'm marking the vertical lines. So I will go to the ends here and mark one and a half inches for shoulder slope. I will mark one and a half inches for shoulder slope. And we connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. So we'll go ahead and place the circumference measurement. This is the chest line. Right on this chest line, I'll place the bust measurement. The bust measurement is 42 inches. Divided by 4 is 10 and a half inches. I will add 1 inch for ease and 1 inch for sewing allowance. That's 12 and a half inches. The 
the waist measurement is 38 inches divided by 4 is 9 and a half inches I will still mark 1 inch for sewing allowance and 1 inch for ease so I'll mark 11 and a half inches here so a quarter of the hip measurement is 11 and a half inches I will add 2 inches for ease and sewing allowance that's 13 and a half inches So I'll go ahead and connect the lines. I will connect it right from the chest line to the waist line. From the waist to the hip. The main reason I'm placing this measurement is because I want to create a space for the large keyhole. So what I'm going to do is to make my keyhole right from here I'll just make it round here from here to the hip line so I'll go ahead and connect it like so I'll connect it right from the chest line I'll connect it like so it's up to you how large you want the keyhole to be So this is my keyhole, it's 4 inches. So what I'm going to do is to cut this out first. I will cut the keyhole. So I'll make a notch here. And I will notch here also. So I'll go ahead and cut the back neckline and the shoulder slope. I'll bring the front part out. So this is the front panel and this is the neckline. I will go to the neckline here. So I will mark one inch inside here. This is the front part. I will mark one inch here all the way to the bottom part. I will cut it out. So this is the wideness of the neck. I'm cutting it out. Then cut out the one inch all the way to the bottom. So this is the front part. So I have two pieces for the front and the one piece for the back. So what we are going to do is to join the shoulders together. This is the back piece. I will lay the front and the back against each other. I will take one part of the front, place it on this side. I will take the other one and place it on this side. I will use half inch to join the shoulders. So guys, I'm done joining the shoulders. What we are going to do next is to stitch up the keyholes. So this is the right side. I will turn it like so to the wrong side. So I will turn it like so. I will match the notch together.
as you match it you make sure right side are facing each other i will just match it together like that and use a quarter of an inch to sew it around i will do the same thing for the other side so i cut out the strip i'm going to be adding this to the tip of the center part that's the color so i'll measure it around so i'll measure this uh, center part here i'll measure it right from this bottom part to the neckline and bring it down to this other part I have 137 inches so I cut out 138 inches in case and the wideness is 6 inches fold it into 2 is 3 inches so I'll fold it into 2 like this and stitch one side so guys, I finished stitching the keyholes and I've also stitched this strip. So I'll be adding this here. This side. So next is for us to attach the strip or color to the tip here. So I will start stitching it right from the bottom here. I will stitch it right from here. Right from the bottom part. So I'll pin them together. Right side facing right side. So I'll take it to the neckline and bring it down to this other side. I'll use half inch to join them together. After I've done that, I will hem the, the side and the bottom. I will fold half inch twice and hem the side, the other side, and the bottom of the dress. So guys, this is the finished look of the kimono dress. This is the bottom. This is the bottom. If you like, you can uh, stitch this together. I think I might be stitching this mid part together. You if you want to stitch it, you stitch it right from inside with a quarter of an inch up to where you want it to be. You leave this damp part open. I use time to of the waist measurement to cut out the belt. So guys, we have come to the end of today's tutorial. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you are new here. Don't forget to join us on our Facebook group, Ascentia's Fashion House. I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.